Holy cow. But um, I made a good clean shot on its neck. I can only see from like here up. And uh, I tell you what, the shot and everything happened probably in like five seconds. everyone to another episode uh it's just me and dad today uh we have the truck we have the truck loaded and the trailer loaded before we everything we're going on a three-day hunting trip we got picked for a wma hunt which for those who don't know that's just like a where a bunch of us get drawn and we go hunt on public land and um we're gonna meet some friends over there we got about an hour drive and we're gonna scout this evening find us a place to sit and we're gonna hunt in the morning. So uh, stick with us, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you when we get there. Let's go. All right, everyone. Well, we uh, have made it to the WMA, the public land, and we're, we actually already went to where we're camping and took the coolers and stuff off, but we're about to unload the four-wheeler and the moped and we're going to go scouting this evening and see or find us a spot where we can sit in the morning so uh yeah we got all our stuff back here we got the climbers everything we got a ground blind we can put up so we have a few different options on how we can set up so uh we're going to see what we can find out So Nick's gonna use the scooter to drive along the roads and look for signs. You can only belt go in so many places here. Some places don't allow traffic, motorized vehicles. All right, you ready? Oh, we gotta put I get it. Well, we have made it here to our first spot we're going to scout. Um, Dad and Mr. Jeff hunted this place, or this spot here, a couple weeks ago. And uh, didn't see anything. So we're going to go look and find, try to find a better spot. So, anyways, we got a little walk ahead of us. We can't take the four-wheeler or anything back this way. Um, everything now is all on foot. We got this place and a couple other places to scout, so hopefully we can uh, find us a good spot to sit. All right, well, um, I think we kind of finished scouting our first spot here, and we kind of got a good idea. If we want to sit here, I think we're going to go with a ground blind. And kind of put it right here because we got a. I mean, it's not a far road right here, but we have one, two, three, four, and then I don't know. You can kind of see out in that field. We walked out there. There was a there was a few deer tracks. Um, I think we can do better. So, um, if we can't find anything else, then obviously we'll come here. But this is spot number one onto the trucks to find spot number two. Here's something we found. All right, well, that's old, don't you think? Yeah, it's older, but boy, they sure been tearing it up, hadn't they? Well, 
we're just riding around and it looked like a pretty good spot. There's a, like a, a marshy water area over here and uh, some hardwood, some oaks and stuff. So it's definitely going to be dropping some um, acorns on the ground. So that's a, that's a food source for deer. Uh, so I guess we're just going to ride on, on down here and see what else we can see. But there's a good bit of tracks up here. And then we saw this, which is kind of old, probably from last year, but I don't know. At least we know there were there has been bucks in the area. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep on riding and see what else we can find. But so far, this isn't a bad little spot to set up right here. I, I would like it to. I would like to get back farther in the woods off the road. Just, I mean, in case anyone starts riding by, maybe one day while we're hunting, they couldn't. So it doesn't ruin our hunt, but I mean, not a bad spot. We can still go scout the other side of the road, but anyways. All right, let's keep riding. Go see what else we can find. All right, well, we just, we literally walked like our road, like 10 foot like that. We were on the other side of this tree, but I stopped and looked under this oak tree and uh, there's like one, two, three, four, five. There's like five different scrapes. Some of them are a little older than the others, but that one right there is pretty daggone fresh. And then here's some deer turds, some deer turds on the ground. And then right here, that's a buck track. That right there is a buck track, those two. And the way you can tell is because their, their hoofs are split and then you can see their, um, I guess dew claws, I guess that's what they're called in the back. But you know that's a buck. So, I mean, it's not the freshest tracks, but it's still the best sign we've seen today. Like that right there is pretty fresh. That's pretty fresh. That's from a deer. And then this one here. one here. Don't get a, that's pretty fresh too right there. Yeah, and then there's another one right there. Mm, all right. This wouldn't be a bad, this wouldn't be a bad hunt right here. Um, we can keep on, you wanna keep, you wanna walk on down there or you wanna ride? I think we are just, we'll walk. All right, we'll walk on down here. This ain't a bad spot at all so far. Hey, look, is that a trail right there? Kinda. You see what I'm talking about? Kind of on like the side of that tree, that little tree right here. I don't know, but I like I like this area. It's a little open, but they also have some thicker stuff up in here. And then the water's right over there, so they might be bedding down up in this stuff and uh, coming through. Ow, my foot! I got a hurt toe, and it hurts real bad to walk on. Um, but they could be coming through here and eating these acorns and then going to that water. So I don't know. We'll walk for a little ways and see what else is back here. Alright. We'll just walk. Well, we, uh, I think this is gonna be our last spot we scout today because it's like 4 o'clock already and we still don't have a stand hung or, or anything, so we still have to go do that. Um, we found one really good spot and then we have the spot, the very first place we went to. So that's two spots we can sit right now. I kinda, I wish we could find a good spot here because there's a marshy, there's like a little tiny pond right here, um, and then a pond over, and then a pond over here, and I feel like these deer could be moving back and forth through here, but like all the woods here look the same. It's all just timber and or, or pine trees. That's what it's, it's all just pine trees. So I feel like uh, if we can get some hard bottom somewhere. Where there's a lot more acorns and this is dead this is dead in into the pond yeah well ain't nothing here Ow. See, it all looks the same all right let's go put those sands up sounds like a plan The main road is just right over there, ain't it? Okay, I just set the ground blind up. So, uh, Nick's over setting the climber up. We're going over there, but 
you see down that road, see down this road, and see up this road. And then we got that plowed field in front, although I wouldn't think I'd get a shot there. So that's my back. That's where my back's gonna be facing. So anyhow, that's that. We're going to go over to where Nick's at now. He went on the scooter and uh, went over to put his uh, climber up. So we'll be there in just, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. See you there. There's the scooter. So Nick's got his stand up. I got a pretty good spot. I feel pretty confident about it. Can you hear me? He probably can. He said he's I'll got. Get down. I'll get down and talk. All right. Hold on. Down there where that big oak is coming out into this little patch here is where all the scrapes and rubs are. Should be a good spot. All right, well, we got my climber hung, and we got Dad's ground blind put out. Um, saw a few cars come drive on this road, which is just a dead end down there. So we got here at the right time, got our stuff set up, and we got it marked here. Um, feel pretty confident about tomorrow's sit. The only thing I'm worried about is there not being enough stuff in front. There's a few branches in front of me covering me up, but I don't know. Some deer could probably see me, but I got to be real still. Um, I got a pretty long shot if there's some deer that come out pretty far down there, but there's a ton of fresh signs here, a bunch of scrapes and everything. So let's see if we can't get it done in the morning. Oh, I think we're going back to camp now and do some eating and talking and all that good stuff it's 506 so we'll get out of here let the stuff sit and hopefully we can shoot one in the morning so we'll see you back well we made it to camp this is where we'll be staying hey boy race how are you good to see you what the heck is that we're making a youtube we're making video. a youtube video oh really yeah it's say hey Hey, how you doing there, you two? <laughs> hey. I saw y'all scouting. Yeah, he rode by us. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. I rode by y'all two times. Two times? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we've, we're set up. If, if we get there before anybody... on the lane? Yeah, we yeah. sat on... Uh, okay. I don't know, where did you we see us? We Jeff Lane. Jeff he, Lane, yeah. He saw, he saw us I, where the ground blind is and where my climber is now. Oh, okay. That little patch y'all went to last... Where oh, we I were. That was the last place you were before yeah. I saw you last. You're gonna have to get that early to beat somebody there. Really? Yeah. There's always somebody there. That's so easy to yeah. pull off and park. Uh, and there's a lot of signs there. Did you go up on that ridge behind that patch? We we started to, yeah. We started walking up in well, there about 50 yards. That's a sweet spot right up on top of that ridge. Mm -hmm. All right, well, tonight's going to be a fun stay. We, uh, yeah. <laughs> Get loaded in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got wasps. We got rats running. You got one about to get on your leg back in. What? To your right. <laughs> What you doing? I got him. I got him. Got him. Got him. Now just pick him up. Throw him out. They're sucking it. Look at all them walls. Oh, it smells like silicon in here. Well, that's still climbing. That's still crawling over there. You better swap him. Huh? Hey, Mike, there's still one crawling. See him up there? Yeah. Oh, well, that's where. That's where Mr. Jeff's staying. We ain't staying in there. But yeah, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be it. Come, come down here. Come. This is uh, here, I got you. This is gonna be where I'm at down here. 
right here. It's pretty sketchy, not gonna lie. Had the there's a ton of bugs, dead bugs everywhere. But um, we are we already had a rat run up under there. So uh, this is gonna be pretty interesting. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. They're coming down. Did you get them? They're falling. I pooped them and they're falling. Let me show have all our viewers what we're looking at. Holy cow. Look at all the walls. That ain't the only one. There's more around here and there's vent some in there. What are you doing? Everybody is we're making off. a video of our trip. Oh, no. Did y'all go by the channel? Be on YouTube. Next channel. Which one did y'all went by the one over there by the camp? Yeah. Well, I signed. I put my initial by your name on the other one. Over okay. Oh, so. well, we we're signed in good then. We're signed in twice. Perfect. Hey, hey, hey. Did hey, you what? You didn't sign me in, did you? Yes. Oh, did? Okay. Everybody signed in. Okay, good. Good deal. Good boy. Everybody signed in. They had about 30 wasps over in there. <laughs> no, did you? Got any wasps in your truck? Uh. -uh. No. Hey, just wasp and a rat. A wasp? Oh, the rat's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He'll keep you warm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crawl up between your legs and keep warm. Yeah, that'll keep me warm, all right. <laughs> all right, so we're cooking, we're cooking some uh, chili. Here, let me hold deer, the light. Let me hold the light. Deer sausage. I mean deer sausage. Deer meat, chili. Ooh, got it going here. Oh, looking yeah, good. Well, I didn't know what he intended to do that. I don't want to get to him we got some uh, Fritos we're going to eat in them. It's going to be good. You get scoopables? You don't need <laughs> Yeah, they, they scoops. That looks good. Let me tell you right now. Yesterday, All right, we're recording. Julie and Francis. We won't need, we won't know which ones is going to make the best chili because we mixed it together. <laughs> Made one big pot full. I mean, it's good, isn't but it? it's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, Joey. Mm. All right. Good morning, everyone. It is 5:27, and uh, it's first morning of the hunt. We're trying to get out there pretty early, so no one else gets our spot. But I don't think we should have to worry about that because we flagged everything off but anyways we got a, a little bit of a drive we're actually we're actually staying at the guys um hunting lease that we're here with but we're not hunting on the hunting lease we're hunting on the wma so we have a drive to the wma it's probably about 10 minutes but anyways we're going to get set up dad's going to get dropped off then i'm going to take the moped over to my spot and uh Hopefully, 38 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty cold this morning. But, um, anyways, stick with us, stay tuned, see if we can't get deer on the ground. All right, y'all. Well, I just got up in my climber. Um, I got all situated. Um, anyways, we still got probably 35 minutes, 40 minutes till, um, daylight. So, um, I'm gonna be sitting here for a little bit. But anyways, dad's in his blind. I'm up here in the tree. I have pretty good confidence that we're gonna kill something, one of me or dad or one of the other guys. So, um, I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's pretty cold this morning. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try to get as much as I can on camera. I just have one little GoPro. But, um, I'm gonna see what I can do for y'all. So, uh, stick with us, stay tuned. And hopefully, we can get a big deer on the ground. All right, well, it is getting about time for shooting light. It's still pretty dark. It's 6.43, but um, it's super foggy. And I had a guy just come rolling up here, right, literally right next to my stand. I'm not hunting far from the road. And uh, I mean, I shot my flashlight at him. He got back in his truck and left. But I mean, I still wish you want to come up here. It's getting pretty close to shooting light. I don't want him to disturb me. I can still hear him driving around and stuff down there, but 
that's one thing that's bad about these public land hunts is people i mean people can go anywhere but um <laughs> anyways so he's gone i'm still up in the tree didn't didn't make too much noise but he still disturbed the area a little bit but uh anyways we'll see um all right no one else comes and shows up it's nine o'clock and uh haven't seen any deer saw one turkey but i couldn't get it on video because it was too far away and it walked off by the time i got the camera but um i'm gonna give it a uh, probably about another hour or so and then get down and go get breakfast so um hopefully something will come out in the next hour but i've been texting dad and i don't know if he's seen anything but he hasn't shot anything so, and I don't know what any of the other guys have done. So, um, yeah, I'm up in this climber stand right here. I don't have, I don't have much room at all, but I'm, uh, I'm going with the 6.5 green mort, my Bagara. So, uh, I got me a little shooting stick here, so I got it set up pretty nice. It's about 150, like, 8 yards or 160 yards to the end of this field, which is a pretty easy shot. So, uh, I think that's the farthest I'll have to be shooting to. But, anyways, we got the sun coming up from my back, which is good. So, these deer, so if these deer come out down here, it'd be a little harder to see me. But, um, anyways, yeah. It's about 9.35 a.m. And, uh, I just talked to Dad, and, uh, <clears throat> we've only heard two shots this morning, so I don't know if the deer's just not moving or what it is, but, um, I think we're gonna go, get, we're gonna get down, ease out of here, and go get some breakfast at camp. Um, and then, uh, come back. For an early afternoon sit and then hunt the whole evening so uh, hopefully hopefully we can get it done this evening but I, I have uh, I had pretty good confidence of this area I mean there's a lot of fresh signs and stuff so hopefully they'll be moving this evening Y'all, I ain't even gonna lie, I think my toe might be broken. Cause it hurts so bad. Like, so bad. But, um, right back there on the road, there were some, uh, raccoon prints, or some tracks, and they looked like some deer tracks from probably last night. So, there's deer in the area. I guess they just weren't moving this morning. But, I'm about to be up here next to the, uh, I'm about to be up here to the, uh, the moped. So, uh, anyways. Yo, ow. Alright, well, I done made it to the moped. It's time to put my stuff up.
perfect. the key at oh here it is. Yes. all right oh Ooh, baby all right Yo. <sighs> you didn't see nothing? All right, well, we're gonna get this stuff strapped up. On the way over here, last night we put it on the trailer, but we forgot to strap it down and it fell over and this piece of plastic busted off of it and we don't know where it is. But anyways, here, Dad. We gotta lock this, I forgot how to lock it. Never mind, I locked it. This piece of key. Did you get cold? Yes, daylight, I did. I didn't. I mean, it was pretty cold. My, the only thing that got cold was my feet. Anyways, we're gonna, I gotta pick this tailgate up. Okay. Anyways, we got all that stuff strapped up and locked up and we're going to head back to camp now and get us a good old breakfast and maybe some coffee but anyways all right everyone well we made it back to camp here and uh i'm about to start a fire and dad is right over there he's about to start cooking some breakfast for everyone we are the only two people back right now um we talked to Jeff and them, and they're going to scout a new spot for this evening, I think. Um, but as far as I know, no one didn't see anything. And um, we, I mean, yeah, we only heard two shots. I think I already said that. But hopefully these deer are going to be moving later this evening. But I'm going to get a fire started and uh, sit around and eat a nice breakfast and enjoy ourselves. So see you later. All right, well, everyone's showing up to the camp now. Mr. Mike right. didn't see nothing, but Mr. Jeff, he saw an eight point and shot at it. it was, he said it was a pretty hard shot, but he couldn't end up finding it. But we got some breakfast going. Mr. Mike, you see anything? You didn't see nothing? We got some bacon, some sausage. That's out of my eye, <laughs> No, I didn't go to sleep this morning. You did? I only heard two shots over close, where, you know, within hearing distance. Yeah, yeah. That was probably... How many reckon? Ten shots? All right, everyone. Well, I got my food right here, and we're about to get ready to eat. You ready for hash browns? Yeah. <laughs> Well, they mashed potato, fried mashed potatoes. I didn't do them right. With some booth ass, ass price. <laughs> but everything else is pretty good. They actually taste pretty good. They yeah, that's pretty good. good. You want some? Do I? Yeah. No, I don't want none. Fine. They, good. they do taste good? Yeah. yeah. Alright, we'll even put a little bit. Not on the... Mm. They just don't look good, but they do taste good. Yeah, some weird looking mashed potatoes. Okay, it's uh, about 12.30 and I'm headed back to the ground blind. 
and try to sit in it the rest of the afternoon. Nick is back at the camp taking a nap and he would go get in his climber, uh, I don't know, an hour or so. So anyhow, we'll stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get something this afternoon. Some of the guys in the camp, one of them shot at a eight point and it was a bad shot and uh, couldn't find any any evidence that he hit the deer. And then one of our group shot a doe and they're still tracking it. Even when we were back having breakfast, they were still out tracking. So anyhow, maybe we'll have good luck this afternoon. Hopefully we can get a deer this evening, but anyways, got my fingers crossed. Dad's been sitting in his stand since like 12 o'clock, but I went back, or I was at the camp still, I was taking a nap, but um, anyways, stick with us, stay tuned, hopefully we can get a deer on the ground. Alright, well, it's 2.45, and we just made it up in the climber. <clears throat> We're sitting in the same spot. I'm sitting in the same spot. All right, well, it's 4.10 right now. <clears throat> Haven't seen anything. Um, I had a truck come drive literally right behind me on the road, like right there. And uh, I don't know. Um, I think I might get down. woods and there's a road that keeps going on down in there and um, I think I might walk down there and just sit on the ground um that way I'm a little deeper in the woods and I don't know maybe if someone else wants to come right by here it won't mess up the and back farther in the woods so um I think that's what I'm going to end up doing we still have a couple hours of uh daylight left so hopefully hopefully we can get something on the ground <laughs> well might they leave yours off I ain't believing that look at that man that's a rack of beef Jimmy just stop by John yeah bring him back he'll cut you one morning <laughs> Well, that's what they did. I told them I needed three T-bones, and that's what they, when they brought them out, they was wrapped up. They asked me how thick I wanted them to cut, and you I got told a dead them gum about an inch cuts. and a quarter. And when they brought them out, it was wrapped up. That's what you got, man. So I know how big they were. He got himself a oh. flip. He doesn't cut. hold back, does he? You better check Which that one thing. is it? Got right there. It's not enough for me. There we go. Nick, you want to check ours and make sure they don't get an overdone? Well, right, one of yours is on the end down there, right? They got moved. No, somebody Nick. No, ours is two. Oh, wow, is that it? I think yours went. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that one and that one, maybe? I think so. Okay. Yeah, them, them two are up. Uh, yeah, them two right there, Russ. That's Paul. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I got some cool. Dad, what's that? I think they about ready. Go get us a plate, Nick. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, it is the next morning, and it is 37 degrees. Um, we're all bundled up and ready to go. It's 6:05 ish in the morning. And um, still got plenty of time to get in the stands and get settled down and everything. But we're here at Dad's spot, and I'm about to hop on the moped and go down to my climber and, and get up in the tree and, and sit, and hopefully we can uh, shoot a deer today. But um, apparently where Jeff and all the rest of the guys are sitting, there's been a lot of shots and, and a lot of action going over there. But we hadn't heard any shots over here, so hopefully today we can change it up a little bit shoot a couple deer and then uh get on the road and head home because we have to leave after today after this morning's hunt so this is our last hunt so hopefully we can get it done all right 
Well, I'm all bundled up and ready to go. Good luck. Good luck. Love you. Love you. Okay, I just uh, took down my ground blind. I didn't see anything. I actually got out of the ground blind and did a little walking and still didn't see anything. Uh, Nick just called me. Uh, he got out of the stand about an hour and a half ago and went riding his moped around looking and he saw a place that he'd hunted before so he got off and was walking in and he jumped uh, a deer uh, not sure if it's a four point or exactly what but uh, he shot it and uh, I'm headed over there to try to find him now and uh, see uh, see what he has and have him get it loaded and then we have to go back and get his stand because we got to go home today all right uh stay tuned we'll see what he's got what's up youtube uh i'm on the phone with ethan yeah what's going on youtube well uh long story short i haven't filmed any this morning because i ain't seen no deer so i got out the stand and started riding around on the moped and uh sure enough i got off in this one spot and i was like there might be a deer here and look there he is right there laying on the ground I hadn't touched him yet. I don't. All I saw was his head, so I have no idea where I hit him. I kind of don't want to. Let's go see him. Get up on him. I want to see him. All right. Yo, he's a spike. Oh God, Nick. See him. Did you hit him in the head? I don't know. I don't. Th I mean, that's the only. Oh, I shot him in the neck. Our YouTube dad's on the way to help me. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna pull this sucker out now. Peace out. All right, guys, well, I made it back here to the moped. The deer's right down there on the road. I drug it out of the woods. Um, I got to shed some layers real quick because it is hot now. Holy cow. But um, I made a good clean shot on its neck. I could only see from, like, here up. And uh, I tell you what, the shot and everything happened probably in, like, five seconds. Um, so... I'm going to take some of this clothes off. Dad's on his way over here now to uh, help me get it loaded up in the truck and everything. And I'm going to attempt to pull this thing out with his moped because I ain't, I mean, I'm a good probably 800 yards from the main road. All right, I'm got here to the deer. I'm going to put this around his antlers. Money. Hopefully this moped can be able to pull this sucker. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if it can. Yo, that's gotta fucking suck. Hold on, freaking suck. Come on. Come on, I'll get the shit off your face. Well, I got the deer tied on there. I bet you ain't ever. I bet you ain't ever seen nobody pull a deer on a red scooter uh, with an American flag on the back. But you have today. Looks like it's going good. All right, let's go. Okay, I just got here. Here comes Nick. He's pulling the deer behind the <laughs> behind the scooter. <laughs> Look at that! This thing works out good, don't it? That works out good. Well, shot us a deer. I'm not even near my stand either. 
but I didn't even get the chance to look at it or nothing. All I saw was like, I, I got off of my moped and I started walking. I walked from like here to that tree and uh, I was on my phone and um, I was looking at the hunt stand to see where the field was that I was wanting to go to. I was like, I heard something, I looked over and the deer just jumped up and started running off. He didn't know I was there. And he stopped and all, literally all I could see was from where I shot him to the tip of his head. And I mean, I just threw it up there and shot at something I saw brown. I'm talking about brushes and everything. I just threw it up and shot. And Good neck shot. Yeah. I don't know if I was aiming at his neck or his head, but I was aiming at something and I hit it. But anyway. Alright. Oh, scooter worked out good, didn't it? Yeah. Ain't too bad. Alright. I was like, all right, that's a spike, so I went ahead and shot it. Which, I mean, I ain't a big deer, but it's a free deer. So. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good-sized deer. Might as well shoot one. Oh, well. All right. I'm going to take a picture, though. All right. Yo, that's like a tongue is dra dragging on the ground. Oh! Got him loaded up. Now we gotta go uh, start cleaning him. We gotta go to the check station for and check him right. in. We gotta go to the check station first and check him in. Thanks. I, I saw him. Oh, all I saw was from his neck up. I just shot at him. Nice shot. Gonna lift him up in the bus into that? Yeah. What, what exactly are we doing? Oh, we're just getting a little bit of biological data that we collect on these check-in hunts just to kind of keep an eye on our deer populations and health and management goals as far as our deal, the health of our herd on the WMA and stuff like that. Just kind of keeping an eye on what's being taken and the health of it. It gives an idea we can look at this over year, year after year and look at you know, uh, count sizes increasing, body weight's increasing or decreasing. I got you. Two more does, but I got you. Look at the age structure, all that kind of stuff. And that's to age it? Yeah, sir. There's what we call tooth wear and replacement. That's kind of how it is what we use to age the deer. Um, and basically, we'll look at the uh, the the way that the molars grow, the premolars grow in. On a year and a half deer like this one, you'll have you see these front front teeth here are worn a lot more than the back ones. It's because those are still the baby teeth. So a fawn will have one less tooth, or a half year old will have one less tooth. A year and a half. These three. Uh, yeah, these three right here, these three premolars, will be really worn, and um, a two and a half will have instead of those was that three cusp teeth, they'll have yeah, the two uh, two cusps on all the premolars and the molars. Ah. So after two and a half. You can, it's usually still pretty easy to get two and a half, three and a half year old, but when you get past three and a half, sometimes it gets a little confusing because it depends on what they eat and how fast they wear their teeth down. But the, uh, the half year old, the one and a half year old, and two and a half year old are pretty much a, almost a guarantee you've got those aged. All right, well, uh, we got done with that, and now we're going back to where I sat to get my climber. Um, and then we're going back to the camp, actually. So I already took the climber off the tree and everything. It's just sitting by the road. But anyways, we didn't get skunked. We got a deer. Thanks to Nick Herndon. Thank you, son. Yep, good job. Yeah. Stepping up, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nick, I think hey, the rest of us are standing around with no <laughs> point. Good body on that thing, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's I literally, like, literally when I shot, he was standing, like, and stuff like that, like a hundred. <laughs> Only thing worse would be pedaling. I <laughs> 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 was dragging that back. I know, that thing was going, too. Stay out of four-wheelers. That's right. Stay out of four-wheelers. Nick, let's get him off and get him over here. 
Yes, sir. Me too. Enjoy it, Joy. Enjoy, Enjoy it, it too. Yes, sir. Thank you, you for you, letting us sleep in your You're sleep welcome camera. anytime. Yeah. All right, Mrs. You guys are Have a good one. welcome to uh, <laughs> enjoy that at any point in time. Sounds good. And you didn't record that. Mm -hmm. I got it for prosperity. <laughs> well, I didn't sign off. I didn't sign a waiver. So you can't use that in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we made it home and uh, we're unloading the trailer. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on for any other next videos I post. Um, so until next time, peace out.